again, YouTube. As most trailers these days, it seems, do not come with a 12 volt um, socket or a 12 volt receptacle like the, the typical cigarette lighter um, receptacle. I had to purchase an additional item to mount here in the trailer for that purpose. So, yesterday from Amazon, I ordered one of these. So, you can see on the left side it has on the far left side it has a voltmeter um, which will be very handy. The middle section has two USB charging ports or cable ports uh, which could be handy for the phones and and on the far right side is the uh, receptacle for a 12 volt plug and I'll show you the back it's it's got the three holes like this um, it's like $18 on Amazon. Our immediate need for the 12 volt receptacle is to use our, we have a portable fantastic fan. So I was looking around for places to mount this, this thing. And what I've come up with is that we, of course we had to have 12 volt in the, in the area that we wanted to, to put it. So what I've come up with is this spot up here in this panel. I'll go ahead and hold it in place. Um, so I think once it's in place up here, um, should work fine. And we have 12 volt, we have 12 volt here for the radio. So I'll just have to sneak it up through here and then, then we'll be able to mount it. Let me get a little bit of my wiring work done here and I'll show you how I wired it up before I actually mount it. So I've got these joints uh, soldered now and I'm going to put them inside of the plug and crimp it. Okay, I've got this thing pre-wired and soldered and ready to test out. So I'm going to cut power to the trailer and um, hook it up temporarily before I start drilling any holes. So here we are the next day. I got everything tested. Wanted to show you what the back of this thing looks like. So. Um, there's the front side. It's funny, the video showing that is flashing. It's not flashing in real life, but it, it does in the video. Anyway, here you can see on the back I've got all the plugs, uh, all the plugs figured out. I marked the positive sides with some, what did I use, nail polish. So now I'm going to pull it apart and we're going to drill our holes get it in place and then wire it back together and everything should be just fine. Finally have this project complete. It's the following day, so I broke this into two days. The 12 volt adapter plug. I don't know how folks film inside these travel trailers. I don't have enough light in here. There we go. Now you can see I've got the voltage reading. I've got two USB ports and we have a 12 volt socket. Right now it's reading 12 too. It goes down when I have, um, when I had devices turned on. Right now all the lights are on and I have a, um, an exhaust fan running. The exhaust fan's been running for six hours. All in all, this was a fairly easy project and I, if your trailer came without a 12 volt socket, I would encourage you go ahead and pick one up, find a spot that you can wire it in. Um, I'm planning to use mine uh, mainly for this endless breeze um, fan, which is by Fantastic Fan. I, Anyway, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give this project, you know, the wiring is maybe a one or a two on difficulty level. And the, depending on where you mount the unit, um, it could be more or less difficult. The spot that I chose turned out to be, you know, it really was quite a pain. So happy camping and give yourself access to your 12 volt.